we go there. Okay. So what were you just what were you saying? So you truly admire him? I truly admire him. He he committed his whole life to peace and love. What happened in Mississippi? What did you? Oh, that was a five day retreat. That was really a treat. So I got to see him five days in a row. And we did this every day. Every day, he had a whole lesson planned for us. He did this, uh, this latest thing that he was writing about. There's a thing that he does, it's like the, the, the right, there's 12 right things. I don't even know what he calls it. Like, there's the right thinking, the right view, the right mindfulness, and the right contemplation, the right action. So he did a whole lecture series, the whole week. And then one day he actually devoted to question and answer, which I normally hate, but I end up loving it because he let mostly the children ask him the question. So they asked the most poignant and interesting questions. Uh, like? <laughs> oh, like? Oh, oh, I remember one that really stuck with my head because it really solved my problem at the time. There was a little girl said, I don't know what to do. I have two groups of friends who doesn't like each other. I don't know what to do and I don't know, you know, I want them to stop fighting and I end up getting caught in the middle. And, and he just gently said, <clears throat> just do what you think is right, but the most important thing is don't take sides. Just do what you think is right and just stand with the, 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 the right reasoning and speak what you think is right and speak your mind. And I actually had a problem that particular week that came up from work of whether I should expose some government issue or not. <laughs> so I walked away saying, okay, now I said I should write, I should speak my mind. So it just totally gave me like the answer that I wasn't even looking for. <laughs> and but but coming but but it helped me that I spoke my mind but I did not feel bad or sad that I might get some people in trouble but because I'm coming from Something that I have to do is right, but also from a loving perspective. You know, that I want to be helpful and I want to make things right and better so that it doesn't happen again. I'm not coming from like a vindictive or angry disposition. I actually came from a really, really calm, slow, <laughs> slow, I guess what he called mindful, mindful kind of um, action. So that was good. Yeah, it was very good. It was very, it was very peaceful and very healing.